When it comes to real estate these days, there's definitely a buyer's market. But there's a new service called home staging that gives sellers a real advantage. Action News reporter Joanne Purton is here to explain just how it works. Joanne? Diana, home staging is preparing a house for a quick and profitable sale. For $100 or more, you can hire a designer to show you how to add visual appeal to your home. Home staging has been popular on the West Coast for some time now, and now it's being used to sell Detroit area homes. From the street, this three-bedroom ranch looks like it has potential. And after several weeks on the market, there was an offer. But the offer that came in was way below what we were looking for. So professional home stager Darla Rowley was called in. I can already see it. We have some work to do. Feedback from other realtors who had shown the house had already identified two problems. The first was the shag carpeting. Orange shag, yellow shag, blue shag. The first thing that they saw was, wow, the carpeting looks kind of ugly. The second thing was the dark wood in the kitchen and family room. Very stylish in its time. Feels very 1970s right now, so we want to freshen it up and bring it up into this decade. Darla saw a number of other problems that could be solved with home staging. It can involve things as simple as just rearranging existing furnishings and decluttering and organization or it can be a little bit more extensive de depending on the condition of the home. What was in store for this house? Almost every room would get an update from the dark family room to the bright yellow master bedroom. The goal is to make it appealing to the largest number of potential buyers. You want to neutralize the space but still leave it feeling warm and inviting. So a work group pulled out shrubs, prepared to paint and snagged the shag. About a week later I went to Hello. see the transformation. Hi. I can't wait to see the change. Great. And the changes are dramatic, beginning in the foyer. The gold vine mirrors and printed wallpaper are no more. We painted the wall, not white, yeah. but a nice neutral color. Mm -hmm. um, and then we brought in some rental art on this particular wall to really make an impact. The change continues along the main hallway, but perhaps the biggest impact is in the kitchen. Remember the dark cabinets? Well, they got a coat of fresh paint and new hardware. The ceiling fan and chandelier have been replaced with matching fixtures. And the dark counter of the desk area is now covered with tile left over from the floor. We're erasing all of the 70s. And <laughs> bringing it up into the 2000s, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. The dining room had been bare, but the homeowner, who had already moved to her new home, brought back her dining room set, and then new drapes were hung. We didn't change any paint color or anything like that, and we just added some really nice modern accessories. The living room had also been empty, with off-white walls, peach-colored drapes, and a window with wood-colored trim. Darla painted the window trim white, the wall around it green, and removed the drapes. She added some of the homeowner's treasures and rented other furniture pieces. People have a hard time visualizing. Yes how you can live in a space until they see the furniture put in a functional way. The family room had originally looked like something out of the Brady Bunch. Job one in this room was to take up the rust-colored shag carpet. Lo and behold, we pull it up and there are these incredible hardwood floors below. Add some modern furnishings and tasteful accessories and you have a very welcoming room. The peach bathroom with bright wallpaper and dark cabinets got a neutral makeover. The only cost was for paint, cabinet hardware and inexpensive art. And the yellow of the master bedroom, which looked harsh on our first visit, was sunny and welcoming once the rug was removed and an inflatable bed was dressed with inexpensive linens. In all, the homeowner paid about $3,000 for the consultation, materials, landscaping, labor, and furniture rental. Are you confident you'll get that money back? I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I've watched those programs on TV and I kept thinking, how do they do it for that amount of money? And so Darla came in and right away she knew what had to be done in order to sell the house. Now I see how I, we, we should be able to get multiple offers yeah. for this property. For what she's asking for. For what think. she's asking for and for the value that we actually have built into the property. There will be an open house at this Lathrop Village home on Sunday, and if national statistics hold true, staging by an accredited staging professional can help a house sell two to three times faster and increase the sale price by at least 3%. For more information on home staging, you can click on our website at WXYZ.com. Yeah, my wife and I are selling a house right now, and the realtor did essentially that, and, yeah. and you've got to avoid being uh, offended, offended right? by the fact that <laughs> going to change all the stuff that you love. What's wrong with that shag carpeting? But yeah, you have to keep in mind the goal is to sell it as fast as possible. Right. They're just trying to give you some input. The next problem is getting people in the door. <laughs> you in this got market. it. Yeah. Thanks, Joanne.